again everyone. I know I'm in the same outfit as the last time, but that's because I'm just filming these videos right after one another, so don't go commenting about that because I already know I'm wearing the same stuff. So this video is going to be my May slash spring slash summer favorites, and it's just going to kind of be a culmination of my favorite things right now, so I'm going to just hop right into it and let you guys know what's going on. So Nutella, food, I don't know, I have Nutella every single day for breakfast with a bagel, so love me some Nutella right now. And then I have this bracelet that I bought from Old Navy, and it's kind of a, I don't know if you'd call it mint green, but it's kind of a seafoam green, really light, aqua-y, teal color, and it's just super cute, and it's just like a little chunky bracelet to wear. Anybody who's like an arm candy, I really enjoy that. And then, oh, this is my newest hair product, not hair product, but hair tool. And it's a um, Remington hair curling wand. And I just use it for just very light, kind of beachy waves. And it comes with a glove, like most of these do, just to help protect your hands, which I really like because if I didn't have that thing, I probably would have burnt myself. I don't even know how many times already. Probably quite a lot. And if you're wondering where I'm throwing all this stuff, it's over on my bed, so it's out of my way. Alright, now I'm going to hop into some beauty stuff. I am loving this um, brush from Sonia Kashuk. And I don't, I don't remember what it's called, I'm sorry. But it's, I think it might be some kind of blending brush. But these bristles are so soft. I love it. And I just use it to buff in my foundation. I love the feeling of this on my face. It feels so good. Now this is another brush that I really like. It's the Blending Eye from Sephora, number 29. And it just looks like this. It's a black brush. The bristles, again, are super duper soft. You'll find that if you stick around and watch my videos, I love soft brushes. And then one more brush. No, actually I have two more brushes. Another brush I've been liking is another soft dome brush. It's by e.l.f. and it's called the e.l.f. Contour Brush. And it's part of their studio collection and it's just this little dome brush and I like using that too just to help apply my foundation. And now this brush, this is a tiny little angled brush that I believe came with, I want to say it was a Maybelline product, but it was one of those like tat eye tattoo Maybelline products, I think that's what it was. It was my friend's, but she let me have this little brush because I was like, oh, that's great for eyeliner. And turns out, it is great for eyeliner. I use it with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in 601 Black Bean, which looks like this. And they do get kind of dirty, as you can probably tell. They get kind of nasty. But I like using this just to do some lining. If I don't want to do something extra, super extra dark, I just use this and this together. And it works really well for me. And then I have some other liners that I'm really loving right now. I have this Urban Decay Light On Eye Pencil, the 24-7 one, in Perversion. And as you can tell, I use it quite a lot. It's kind of, I don't know, it's maybe a third of the wig on. But it's just super duper black. And it feels like you're putting, oh, this is kind of gross, but it feels like you're putting butter on your eye. It's so soft. I love it. And then this is my longest used, or like longest using um, liquid eyeliner, and it's the Maybelline Line Stiletto. It's a liquid eyeliner, and it comes out of this little packaging, and it's got this super precise little felt tip, and I love using this thing. It gives me really good lines, and I've never had a problem with it caking or peeling off or anything like that. It lasts all day long, and you have to like work your makeup remover to get it all off. It's not hard to get it off, but it stays on your face. It doesn't go anywhere. Then to brighten up my eye, I sometimes use this Lancome Le Crayon Coal Eye Pencil in Blanc, which means white. And it's just this super white pencil that my mom bought me. And I, I don't know, I just use it kind of in my lower waterline to just brighten up my, brighten up my eye a little bit. And then this is the mascara I'm using all the time. It's the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Black Drama in, I don't even know what color it's in. Maybe Black Drama is the color it's in. I don't know. 
but it's this brush right here and it's kind of got a curve I don't know if you can tell but it's really great for just kind of curving along your eyelashes and I really really like it, it gives me a lot of volume, gives me a lot of length alright and then this you'll probably remember from my last video it's my Aquafina Flavor Splash Raspberry and I use this thing every day, all the time, I love it it's just nice smooth on my lips, I like to use that and then this is the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller and I got mine does it have a color on it? I got mine probably the lightest that you can get because I'm pretty pale but I love the feeling of this when you roll it under your eye it's just like this really cool sensation I don't know it's just like it feels cold and it just feels really good and you just kind of pat it or rub it in under your eye and then I put a little bit of concealer over it since it's already a little tinted I don't need too much concealer but yeah I really enjoy that product and then I have two lipsticks this one's from Sephora I honestly I don't know what color it is but this is what the bottom of the package looks like so maybe you can if you're interested in it you can go look but oh wait it's called Lip Attitude Glamour G19 there we go it's on the inside but it looks like this and it's just a really great nude color. The only thing I don't like about it is the smell. But, yeah, I just, I don't know. It smells kind of gross to me. But it's not that bad if you put on some lip chap with it. It usually kind of cancels out the smell of it. And then my other one that I really like is Viva Glam 5 from MAC. And it's, other, it's another kind of great nude-ish color. It looks like this. And this one, I think, kind of smells like cookies to me. Maybe like cookies and cream. I think it smells really, really yummy. But I don't know. If you want to go smell it, try it out. Whatever you want. You know, I just like it. This is another MAC product. It's a paint pot in Bear Study. And I know everyone goes with Painterly. But I kind of like this one as well. This one is just like a shimmer color. It's just this very shimmery, I wouldn't call it a champagne color, but it's almost, it might be a champagne color. It's kind of that light, let's go with champagne. <laughs> let's just go with champagne color. But it's got a shimmer in it, and it's kind of nice, because I don't always like using matte eyeshadows. I, I like to go shimmery sometimes, so it's a really nice base to use under those. And now this is my last MAC product that I'm going to talk about, and it's a powder blush in buff and I don't like sometimes I'll do pink cheeks but usually I like to try to keep my cheeks a very neutral color and this is a really really great really great color for that buff it's just super I don't know it's, it's just kind of blends in my skin really really well it's good for my light skin and the people at the Mac store were really helpful when my aunt and I were going to buy this quite a while ago I think it was probably around Christmas when we went to go buy these but um, yeah, it was it was really great. And then I've been loving my Naked palette. Always love a Naked palette every month. I use it all the time, almost every day. Love, love, love the Naked palette. Still waiting on getting the Naked too, but that's okay. And then I've also been kind of getting into candles lately. And this one is from Yankee Candle. It's called Fruit Fusion. And on here it's got like oranges, strawberries, limes, I don't know if they have anything else on there, but it smells, I don't know, it, it really, it smells like a fruit fusion. I really don't know what else to say, it smells like a bunch of fruit. It smells really, really good for spring and summer. Then I have another Yankee Candle, it's in Juicy Watermelon, and to me, this one smells like a Jolly Rancher like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It smells ridiculously sugary like you've poured a gallon of sugar onto a watermelon. It smells really really yummy. And then I have a couple um, ones from Bath and Body Works. This one is in Peach Bellini which I know all that glitters talks about it all the time and it smells I don't know it smells kinda peachy. I don't really know what to compare it to but it looks like this. It's just a really small one then I have another really small one in Ice Cream Shop, and it's supposed to smell like strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate ice cream. And 
I could say I can kind of smell all that. I smell a little more of the vanilla and chocolate than I do strawberry, but it looks like that. And then the last one, last candle I have, is this Bath & Body Works Root Beer Float Candle. And it really does, it smells like root beer. If you've ever smelled root beer or root beer barrel or root beer float, it's probably going to smell exactly like that. It smells really, really good. And then another set of products that I'm really loving from Bath & Body Works are their hand sanitizers. I love Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers. And these ones are in American Berry Pie, Fresh Picked Pears, Fresh Picked Strawberries, Fresh Picked Tangerines, and Vanilla Berry Sorbet. And pretty much every single one of these smells like its name. Every single one smells like its name. And that's what I really like about Bath & Body Works stuff is whatever it's called, it's usually going to smell exactly like what it says. And then here is a Black Raspberry Vanilla Fine Fragrance Mist. And I was super excited when I saw this because they have never had a mist of Black Raspberry Vanilla until this spring. So I'm super pumped about that. I love this scent and I'm really excited. I've only used it a couple times and it's really, really strong, surprisingly for a body mist. So I usually only use like one or two sprays and I am like, whoo, it's funny. But I really like it. And then another perfume that I've, another two perfumes that I've really been liking are the Dove Go Fresh Body Mist in Plum and Sakura Blossom Scent. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it looks like this. And this is another one that's pretty, pretty good smelling, really fresh, that you only have to do a couple spritzes, if that, depending on how much fragrance you like. I personally don't need too much fragrance, I just like a little, little fresh something. Then this one is Pink Sugar, and it's supposed to smell, I think it's supposed to smell like cotton candy, and it comes in a little tube like this, and this is the actual perfume, and it's in this cute little bottle. And this one's also really strong because it's an actual perfume perfume, so it's really concentrated. But it smells like cotton candy. It smells kind of like you walk into a fair and you're standing by the cotton candy stand. And that's just really great for spring and summer as well. And my very last product is this Marrakesh oil from Earthly Body. And it's a hair styling elixir. And it's like your basic argan oil, pretty much. And this, to me, it smells like kind of like apple pie, cinnamon apple pie is what this smells like. And my hairstylist got this for me when I had bangs cut quite a while, like blunt, blunt bangs last November, December. My bangs have grown out a lot since then. But she gave it to me to work on my ends when I was there. And this thing in the what, six, seven months since then is only like halfway gone. And that's awesome. I use this like every time I take a shower or yeah, every time I take a shower, I use this thing, and it's only halfway gone. So it lasts a really long time. It was like $25. So, pretty great. And I hope that you all enjoyed my May, Spring, Summer favorites, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!